This rebel-held mining village 50 kilometers east of Donetsk is on the front line of the war in eastern Ukraine. There's no jobs, no water, no electricity. The locals who have stayed in Volkovka are living in fear. They say the Ukrainian army bombs the area with rockets. We wish we had a ceasefire. Even when they close their doors, people are scared. People are so frightened. Look on the street, there's nobody outside. In the evening, when it's a bit quieter, people go out. And then somewhere the shelling starts again, and they go hiding again in the basement. Vasily Petrovich, the local rebel commander, says peace seems like a distant prospect. All he sees are the Ukrainian forces camped a few kilometers east on the horizon. He says he won't be accepting Kiev's proposal of an amnesty for rebel fighters. If we give up our weapons, we will all be killed. We don't believe them because so many times they've lied to their own people that there is no trust anymore. It could have been solved in a peaceful way without starting this war. Tatiana has just arrived from a neighboring village. Her home was destroyed in shelling. I took some things and came here to my parents, because here it's at least so-so, there it's impossible. People are sitting in the basement without electricity, with small children. How can this be? I don't know. On the route out of the village, an unexploded rocket is stuck in the ground from a previous attack, and then the area erupts. The commander accuses Ukraine of risking civilian lives with indiscriminate fire. He says his men are abiding by the ceasefire. But if the Ukrainians push into their territory, they're ready to die fighting. <laughs>